The Real Story. Have letter number 5663. May 27, 2016. There is a rumbling in your heart that calls you to me. It is inevitable that you will come to me. It is my will, and it also is yours that you come to me. We have no disagreement. You are the decider of when. Otherwise, there is no decision. I cast my line into the sea, and you arise. You swim up to me, and you say, here I am. I say, here you are. Only in your imagination have you ever been away from me. It has been illusion that you have ever been anywhere else but with me. It is an impossibility that you can be anywhere else or that there is anywhere else that exists where you can possibly be. Only in your mind have you wandered afar. Actually, you drifted. You didn't work at drifting afar. You simply drifted, caught up in the tales of a day in human life. You are a divine being dribbling your fingers in the waters on each side of your canoe. Another time you lie on the grass and look up at the canopy above, and you see that it is good. Sometimes you have what you perceive as turmoil. Turmoil is manufactured. At these times, you may feel you have lost your way. Your way is with me, and it is assured. There is no getting around it. We could say that we are made for each other, and this is true. Separation between us has no substance. Another dimension of the story is that we are one anyway. You have been tethered to an idea that we gaze into each other's eyes when, in truth, we look through the same eyes. Your lenses are smudged. Let's wipe them clean now. I tell you that your eyes are as clear as my heart. Nothing is to interfere with your clear vision now. Sparkling waters are clear. You are well able to see far and near now. Look out from my eyes. You restore your heart, and you restore your soul. You refresh your eyes so that you will see as I do see. Your eyes graze over a field of joy. How close you are to what you call enlightenment. There is nothing to be added unto you. Have an intention. Your intention and mine are the same. All that remains is for you to follow your intention right to my heart that calls to you, and you hear faintly. Dilly dally no longer. Get over here. Hut, hut, hut. Or, it's fine if you wish to pick flowers along the way. It's fine, and you are fine. There is no rushing, yet hop to it. There is no time, and there is no time to waste. Come to me now in a blink of an eye. The orchestra is about to begin. The music hall is hushed. Everyone waits for the crescendo to begin. There is a hum that is poised, and the baton is poised, and your enlightenment is about to begin. Hear the music. Life seems to go from one branch to another, or from the flight of one bird or another. Here is the real story. Life in the world is always ready to begin. In the world, life may seem to go on in fits and starts, a staccato of life. Eternal life, however, has never paused. It has been ongoing. Eternal life has never taken a moment's breath away. You have been at the forefront all along. The music we make never ceased. You have always been alive and swimming in the ocean of my love. Always it is so. Illusions whisper to you. Turn to me. Hear truth and come with me. Channeled by Gloria Wendroff. HeavenLetters.org